Hello, let's do Advent of Sudoku, day 19. And if you're not sure what that is, definitely check out the description for both a playlist starting from day one, where I explain what's going on, as well as a PDF, which is updated every day to contain all of the puzzles up through today. So day 19, this is called Unpredictable, and it's by Kinnison. So this is a non-consecutive Sudoku. So it, we have normal six by six rules, but also for any two digits, adjacent digits, so they share an edge, um, you're not allowed to have those be consecutive. So if I put a two here, then none of these digits can be a one or a three because one and three are consecutive with two. So that would not be allowed. Now this is an extremely powerful constraint. It's very restrictive and this will be one of the few constraints where you only have givens along with a global constraint and you do not need to have uh, at least five givens. So here you can see we have four givens and even one of them, uh, the five is repeated. And so it's, it's a very interesting constraint. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, definitely give it a try first and I will start now. So this five, of course, is interesting because it restricts four and six from being next to it. So we know that the only other digits that could go here would be one. We, we know there's a one up here, but along with the one, uh, there's going to be either a two, a three. There can't be four or five or six. So it's a one along with a two or a three. Now, what would happen if we actually did a one and a two, though? Well, now we'd have to put a two down here, but there can't be a two down here because it would be next to the one. So actually, um, this is going to be a one, three pair. Oop, let me just fix my notation here. This is going to be a 1, 3 pair. And then this is going to be the remaining digits, 2, 4, and 6. But the 4 and the 6 still can't go next to the 5, so the 2 is placed. All right, so now through roping, we can we can do 3, 5 here, 2, 4, 6 here. This can't be a 2 because it's next to a 1. So this is a really neat trick here with non-consecutive. This cell is 3 or 5. No matter what it is, this cell can't be a 4. If this cell were a four, it would eliminate both three and five from this cell. So four can't go in either of these cells because both of these cells are three, five, which means four can only go here. All right, and um, we can't quite resolve that yet, but we can do the exact same thing down here. So down here, we're gonna be um, from one, two, three, oops, from one, two, three. There's definitely a one down here, but we can't put a two down here. Um, Sorry, there's definitely a three down here, but we still can't put a two down here because two is what would be forced up into here next to a three. So there is no two here. This is a one three pair. And this is going to be the one and the five over here. And so now we know the remaining digits that go here are the two can't be three, four and six. So two, four, six again, two and four can't go next to three. So this is going to be a six. And these are a two, four pair. Um, five can't be next to four or six, so this is a two. This is a four six pair. And um, we have we need a one in this column. It can't go next to the two, so the one goes here. And we need finally a four in this column. All right, so let's see. Is there anything obvious to do with what we've notated? Not that I see, although there probably is. Um, but let's just fill in the rest of these cells. So in this box, what do we need? We need a two, a three, a five, and a six. And so this four, six here, both of them, they both um, would eliminate a five. So we can remove five from both of these. Additionally, this four removes the three. I guess the five could be removed just by that placed four anyway. So that's a two, six pair. So this is a three, five pair. And so now we can put one, three, five here and two, four, six here. This, it can only be six just based on the column. So sixes are eliminated here. This can only be three for the column. So three is eliminated from here. Now let's take a quick look to see how to finish this. Let's see. Um, I must be missing a non-consecutive somewhere that I didn't notice. Yes, this three five here, it's the same as up here. 4 cannot be next to 3 or 5, so this is the 2, and then that should resolve everything else. 2 can't be next to 1, so that's 5 and 1, 6 and 4, 3 and 1. The rest of this resolves by normal Sudoku. And then now this 3 can't be next to 4, so this is 6 and 4, this is 2 and 6, 
4 can't be next to 3, so this is 1 and 3. 5 and 3, 5, 1, 4, 2, and we're done. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the non-consecutive constraint, and let me know how you did in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like and subscribe?